What are they gonna do? What will they do once they have lost you forever? Are they gonna come back for you? Are they just gonna let you go? Did you actually mean anything to them? Will they be sad, sad that they have lost you? Watch this video because I'm gonna explain everything. Like what the narcissist will do once they know they have lost you forever. Watch this video. Hello and welcome back. I hope that you're all doing really well. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about what will happen to the narcissist once they realize that you have gone and you're never gonna come back and you've seen through their games, their lies, the whole thing. You know, like, what? I mean, what are they going to do? And so this video, I really wanna uh, focus on what's gonna to happen to the narcissist, things that you can expect them to do once they realize that actually you're gone, you are not going to be playing these games anymore like you are done what are they going to do but my friends before we get into the video i just want to say that i do go live on this channel every week usually on a tuesday and if you have any questions or there's something on your mind and maybe you're thinking like hey you know what i, I want some answers i want to know and you've got a quick fire question i'd say join the live type your question or your query into the live chat and let me tell you that live chat it's a complete vibe and who knows i might be answering your question the community is so supportive so kind i would say guys just come on over like what have you got to lose it's absolutely free and also do check out the community tab because i post on there like the topics and the things that i'm going to be talking about over on the community tab so guys come on over i'd love to see you there so 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 what are they gonna do when they realize they have lost you forever? There's a few things that are going to happen. And the first thing that I would say to you is this. The narcissist, once they realize that you are not coming back, they are going to really hate this. Okay, they're gonna absolutely hate this. Because narcissists don't like losing supply. Believe it or not, narcissists don't like losing supply. You see, they want as many people as they can around them. They want as many people as they can to be able to give them, supply them their needs, supply them, give them attention, emotional validation. Like for them, this is one of the most important things, like getting the, the, their needs met emotionally, okay? So the more people that are doing this, the more the merrier. They want this, they love this. So when they are losing someone, meaning, that they know that you have seen through their game. This is a catastrophe for them because they have lost that one supply. Usually, usually you were probably the primary person, the supply that gave the narcissist the most, that you, you know, like the most attention, energy and time and compassion and patience. So when, once you have gone, once someone like you is gone, because let's face it, this is a major deal, even though you probably don't think it is, but it really is. The narcissist is going to hate this. Okay, and there's two things that they're gonna try and do. The first one is they're gonna try and get your attention. Now, I wanna refrain from saying they're gonna try and get you back because they're not trying to get you back into a relationship this is about getting you back into something, into this cycle, the into wh what you had before. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to get you back. They're trying to get you back into this interaction where you are just meeting their needs, where you are just supplying the narcissist with what it is that they need. Now, don't get it twisted, okay? Because the narcissist is not gonna give it back to you. They're not gonna reciprocate um, whatever it is that you're giving them, meeting their needs, their kindness, compassion, right? That is not going to be reciprocated. So what you're doing is the narcissist will want you to continue in this cycle. Basically, what you were doing before, you noticed what they were doing. So even though they're going to come up to you and say that they have changed, that they have learned and they really can't live without you and they really miss you don't believe this for a second because that's not what is going on here 
You have to look past this, okay? These are empty words. They're telling you what you want to hear, okay? And the reason why they do that is because if they do that, they give you a bit of lip service, then uh, you're going to do what the narcissist wants you to do. And here you go. They've got you back into this interaction. You have to be smart here. You have to be smart and you have to be able to see through this and exactly what is going on. The narcissist isn't going to change. This is who they are. This is how their mind is constructed. Cognitively, they do not change. They don't change the way that they think because if this is working, why are they going to need to change? So this is the first thing that a narcissist is gonna do. For those of you who they might not do this, they might go straight into option number two, and that is all about devaluing you, putting a smear campaign, trying to destroy you. Basically what they're doing is they're punishing you, okay? Because you have seen through the game, you have seen through what they are doing, and they don't like this. They really, really don't like this, all right? So they're gonna try and punish you. And the reason why they're gonna punish you is because there's no way that you are getting away with them. Because what you have done is you have triggered them. You have triggered a core wound of abandonment and rejection. Now, I'm not saying that they're feeling embarrassed. Maybe they are, just, just a little bit. But the thing is, what you have done is you have triggered a core wound. And the narcissist is not gonna take this lightly. So they're gonna punish you for doing that. So they're gonna smear you, they're gonna put you down to other people. They are gonna get, try and get other people to see what kind of a nasty, horrible person you are. So this is, again, another part of the illusion, another part of the manipulation. You're not, but the narcissist wants everybody else to see that because the thing is, the narcissist doesn't wanna be shown up as the bad person, as someone who has done wrong, or it's their fault that this relationship has ended because of something that they've done. No, what they're gonna do is they're gonna say that you're the issue. They're gonna say that it's you that, that has these instabilities, probably claim that you've got some mental disorder, because let's face it, you know, they're good at projection. And they're gonna say that you are the issue. So that everybody else around them are gonna think, oh, okay, um, all right, so it didn't work out because of whatever, but they're gonna believe the narcissist. Narcissist has to be painted in a positive light. They have to keep this facade going because they don't wanna be shown up. This is gonna be really embarrassing for them. They can't have this happen to them. So they are gonna say that, that you're the issue. And added on top of that, even though that might not be enough, they're gonna try and destroy you in any way that they can, if they are vindictive, if that is in their personality kind of palette of traits. Okay, they're gonna try and destroy you. Again, this is part of the punishment tactic. They don't want you to do better. They, they, are, they don't want, they didn't want you to see their game or the illusion that they were playing. So the fact that you have is that you need to be brought down a peg or two They're in their minds. They want you to feel like you are absolutely wrong and that you, they want you to feel bad and take responsibility for doing that to them. So the punishment is for you to feel bad, for you to feel like you've got to fix this in some way. And what happens is once you get drawn into this cycle, you then feel bad, you then feel like you're the one to blame. And the narcissist wants this. And yes, they are well aware of what they are doing because this is a phenomenon, this is a thing that they do. So they, they are gonna want you to feel bad about doing this to them. So they're gonna want you to try and fix this in some way. But what you have to remember, my friends, is take a step back from all of this, okay? So what? All right, so what if the narcissist realizes that you have gone and that it's over? You can, the reason why I'm saying so what is because you need to detach yourself from this. You need to detach yourself from what the narcissist is thinking and doing and what, what they want to do and why they are doing it. Because your life is about you and you need to, you need to think about you. Doesn't matter what they are doing, doesn't matter what they are saying to other people. Because you know yourself that it's not true. You know that none of it is real. And if those people choose to listen to it and to believe it, 
then that is on them. You don't need to try and convince someone of your truth. Either they see you or they don't. And if they don't, then okay, that's fine. But you don't need to try and prove yourself because if they're believing the narcissist, then they are too blind to see what is going on. And they're not going to really understand what you're saying either because they already are under the illusion, under the spell of the narcissist. Let them be. What you have to do is concentrate on you and move forward from this. Because how much time are you going to waste trying to figure out the narcissist? Why they have done this? Why is this happening? Why is that? Why are they doing that? How much time have you wasted trying to figure them out? The thing is, you already know they're a narcissist. You know they are a narcissist. You know why they are doing this. And if you would like to know kind of like more about it, I'd say watch this video because this is going to help you, all right, why the narcissist is the way they are and how you can, how it can help you to move forward from this, all right? So understand that they are not going to change. Even though you understand them, even though you beg, beg them to change, to do something different, it's not going to happen because they will continue doing what they're doing because it gets them the results. So once the narcissist has lost you forever, keep going, keep going forward. Don't look back, keep going forward because that is what is going to help you. If you are someone that is going through this and would like someone to talk to, please know that I do offer one-to-one -one consultations. Please see the description box below. I've also got a mentorship and a journal club, which I post in there every single Monday. Do you know what? This would be a great resource for someone who is already, you know, in counseling or getting therapy. This would be a great resource alongside that to enhance the therapeutic process. Um, I've also got a Discord server. Uh, which is absolutely free for you to join and it's a community of like-minded individuals people who um who may have gone through similar things like you so if you'd like to join that please see the description box for the link guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video goodbye